The First Minister has said it should come as no surprise that her government is considering putting up tax for the highest earners. Nicola Sturgeon was speaking after the Finance Secretary set out the SNP's position yesterday. Their opponents are claiming they're all over the place on the issue. Our political correspondent Andrew Kerr has more. Yeah. It's in the bag, or that's what every politician hopes before a general election. The First Minister was visiting an Inverness food bank focusing on welfare cuts. No tax cuts are proposed, but increases for the wealthiest are being considered. The Finance Secretary confirmed that yesterday, a 50p rate for the highest earners. The party backed that in the last general election in 2015, but not last year in the Holyrood election over tax evasion fears. This should not come as any surprise. We fought the Scottish election on a manifesto that said we wouldn't introduce a 50 pence top rate tax because we had been advised that we could lose money because of the potential for tax avoidance. And although the Scottish Government controls income tax rates, we don't control the rules over tax avoidance. So we thought that was a potentially damaging thing to do. But we also said in our manifesto we would keep it under review and we are keeping it under review. When it comes to the crunch, the debate is likely to focus largely on whether there should be a 50p tax rate in Scotland if there's also one south of the border. As the Liberal Democrats say plans for a second referendum should be put on the scrap heap, they hit out at the Nationalists. Well, the SNP are all over the place on tax. They said before they wouldn't put income tax up for the highest earners. Now they're saying they might well do it. But what you need is certainty. You need certainty to invest in mental health and in education. And that's why the Liberal Democrats are very clear. We want a modest penny on income tax. It was a similar message from the Labour leader on a visit to a Stornoway butcher. The Labour Party has long been committed to a 50p top rate of tax. We've always argued that we would levy that money and use the revenue to invest in education at a time when that's the fundamental thing we need to do. The problem for the SNP is they change their mind on this every single year. In 2015, Nicola was advocating a 50p tax rate. In 2016, she was against it. By Loch Tay in the visitor centre, the Conservatives warned about a high tax Scotland. Well, there's a real risk that if you go down this road, you end up raising less money. There are only 17,000 additional rate taxpayers in Scotland, and yet they contribute something like 14% of total income tax revenues. It doesn't take very many of those individuals to decide to relocate or reorder their affairs in order to avoid the additional tax. So elements of taxation may be dealt with here in Scotland, but it's intertwined with the rest of the UK. The parties are getting their ducks in a row on this issue. Well, Andrew Kerr joins me now. Andrew, there's been much discussion about the leaders' debate and there's been a change in the line-up this evening for the BBC Scotland leaders' debate. Yes, that's right, Sally. It was uh, emerged earlier in the week the Greens would only stand three MPs in the general election. And then it was confirmed yesterday that UKIP would actually field ten candidates. Now, the Greens had been invited to take part in BBC Scotland's TV election debate a week on Sunday in Edinburgh. But because of the extra UKIP candidates we're seeing, David Coburn, the MEP, will represent his party there. Now the BBC states that appropriate level of party coverage takes into account several factors including past and current electoral support, number of candidates and a role in wider Scottish politics. I think that's the key point. The Greens didn't want really to take part too much in this election to save money, to save resources. They did well in the Holyrood election last year but the Conservatives are critical. They say the Greens are sitting out this election and they called on them earlier in the week to withdraw from the TV election debates. Andrew, thanks. And BBC Scotland will be hosting a series of special Ask the Leader debates chaired by Glenn Campbell the week before the general election. If you'd like to put your questions to each of the party leaders, you can apply to be part of the audience by visiting our BBC Scotland News and Reporting Scotland pages.